All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yashallah. Back at you with another Lord willing to find lesson under Brother Nakum with the Rodney North Carolina camp. But before I go any further, I'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to our Heavenly Father, to the only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak, Dash. Next step, double honors to our apostles and others, great millstone who rule well, and from teaching that this truth according to the Bible, and a double Shalom to all you to say, I Shalom. And I'm just going to get to a Lord willing to find lesson pretty much on Thou should be visited of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, you know, the God of the Bible. And one of the ways that Yahweh Bashim Shah is visiting the earth is through what? These storms. You see, these floods. These fires. You see, the Lord is visiting the whole earth through his judgments that he's bringing upon the earth. You know, so without further ado, I'm going to just dive right into it. This is Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, with thunder and with earthquake. That's right. So this is how Yahweh is visiting the earth. This is how they're visiting you people with thunder. You know, when you hear those loud boom, those loud noise in the sky, that's your high by Shema Shah visiting the earth. It's sitting with earthquake. Every time you turn around, there's always an earthquake. Let's get the um, earthquake at real quick. Bear with me, I can. It says South Sandwich Islands. It was an earthquake September 28th, so that was two days ago. It says, and the magnitude was 6.5. It says North Sumatra, Indonesia. So, like if I said that wrong. But this magnitude of this earthquake was 5.9 September September 30th. That was today. Yep. But the point is, this is how the Lord is visiting the earth. Through earthquakes and thunder. Read on. This is Isaiah chapter 29 verse 6. That should be visit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashma Shai, of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise and thunder and earthquakes, guess what? As well as many other things, they make great noise. They're loud. It says, with storm and tempest, and that's the main point that I really wanted to get. It said, with storm and tempest. A tempest is a powerful storm. And what do we see going on? What just happened? You had a uh, a powerful hurricane that came upon Florida, you know, which tore that place up. You see, yeah, how about you? My shot wasn't playing with Florida, man. Homes are destroyed, people died, resources have been lost and damaged. You see, Florida would never be the same. After what the Lord just did to that place. But again, this is one of the ways that the Lord visits the earth. That he visits you people. With storm and tempest. It says, and the flame of devouring fire. That's right. You know those forest fires. House fires. Whatever the case may be. You see? So the earth is being visited by Yahweh Bashim Through his judgment that he executed in the earth. Let me see. I'm going to go get the book of Psalms. Chapter 83. Mm -hmm. This is Psalm chapter 83, verse 15. So persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm. 
Look at that word persecute. It says, bear with me, Aki. Perse it persecute. It says, pursue. So the Lord is pursuing these people with his tempest and with his storms. The Lord is coming after you people, you know, by his hurricanes. And that's exactly what he just did to Florida. He pursued you by a hurricane. I think it was called Ian. Let me look at pursue on um, persecute on Google. Persecute. It says subject someone to hostility and ill treatment. Especially because of their race or political or religious belief. It says harass or annoy someone prestigiously. If I said that right. But some synonyms, it says, bear with me. Harass. Plague. It says tease. Terrorize. Mm. Give someone a hard time. Mm. So let me go back. Read that again. This is Psalm chapter 83, verse 15. So persecute them with thy tempest. And again, a tempest is a powerful storm, a mighty storm. And make them afraid with thy storm. That's right. So. Change that word pursue, uh, persecute and put harass or oppress. So Yahweh Bashim is harassing and oppressing you people with this tempest, with these powerful storms. You see, Yahweh Bashim is making you people afraid through these different storms. And not just through the storms, through floods. As we just read in Isaiah 29 verse 6, through forest fires, house fires, whatever kind of fire. You see, you don't think these people out there in Florida is being oppressed because of their hurricane that just hit them? Again, these people pretty much just lost their livelihood out there. They got to try to start all over. They got to try to rebuild from scratch again. You see, again, Florida will never be the same after what just happened. I mean another precept. This is the book of Amos. Chapter 3. Go straight to the point. Verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in a city? And the Lord, Yahweh, Bashemah, have not done it? That's right. And these are questions. And to answer the first question. The people are not afraid. You see the trumpet, the warning is going forth. The warning is going out by the prophet, the um, servants that Yahweh Bashim has raised up in these last days. You know, we tell our people to get right, turn back. You know, stop with your sins. But our people are not afraid what we're telling them. So guess what? What does the Lord do in return? He visits you, you know, with, through his judgment. You know, he, he visits you through storm and tempest. He visits you through... Fire, thunder, snowstorms, however you want to look at it. But you people are not afraid. It says, should there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? Evil means bad times. And that was definitely bad times that came upon Florida. And guess who did it? It was Jehovah Bash Masha who did it. It was Jehovah Bash Masha who brought the bad times upon Florida. Get one more priest and I'm going to close out. This is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. 
I made peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. That's right. So it's the Lord that forms the light and creates darkness. And it's Shahab Bashima Shah that makes peace and creates evil. Again, evil goes into bad times. You see? So we're not living in peaceful times. But if we were, guess who it's going to come from? Yahab Bashima Shah. We're living in evil, bad times. That's why we're seeing all the, the, the uh, judgments going through and forth the earth. All throughout the earth. That's why we're seeing storms, you know, like Hurricane Ian. You see, these are all bad times. And it's Yahab Bashima Shah who do all these things, man. So the earth is being visited of Yahab Bashima Shah right about now. So that you can know that they're in power, that they control everything, that they're running this show. You know? So that's pretty much my lesson. Lord willing that hopefully that has been edified. Till next time I say Shalom.